table. You obviously know how to, you've seen it. And so what we want to do is when you get the table, you'll see that these switches are needing plugging in on the sides. So they'll just be a case of they push in, easy peasy, Japanesey. These are already installed, you won't have to worry about them. Just a refresher, all of these here refer to lumbo pelvic, so these two sections of the table going together. Pelvic only is here, lumbar only is here, and dorsal lumbar is up through here and here. You got it? Do you know what? Dorsal is up the very, very top. It means just for this section and the cervical piece. You can turn the cervical piece off by turning this valve. In the horizontal, it is on. In the vertical, it is off. To tilt the headpiece, we push this and that should just go with fingertip pressure. To raise and lower the headpiece, we just lift this gently, doesn't need a lot of energy lift. And to push it down, we're gonna be holding that there and pushing down onto the cushion itself. Good, we can change the angle of the dorsal section just like this. And to raise and lower the table, we're just gonna be, obviously with the foot pedal, up and all the way down. Now there'll be two um, foot strips one on each side of the table, one over here, and one that you saw before. When we hooked up the compressor, what we want to do is we want to set it up for about 80 psi, and we're going to be setting the pressure just with this knob here. Okay, this is going to be set up for you just as a plug and play, and at the bottom, there's also a little valve that you'll see that needs draining periodically. I'll probably drain it every couple of weeks just to stop any junk getting through your table. If you look at the um, ankle rest, We've got the ankle rest here, it raises and lowers. And you can see from the side, there's the hooks. And the hooks will just sit onto the bar itself. The oil down the bottom will not need topping up or changing. And on, very, on occasions, what I want you to do is go underneath this when you first get the table, and you'll see these little square bolts in there. I want you to take them all the way out. And these have already loosened up over the weekend. And I want you to put some uh, some thread locker on them and then screw them in. Don't ever over tighten them though because you will absolutely screw the thread in there. The last part is the direction, okay? This here, so if we've got our, the ball here, it points towards the dorsal section that tightens the table up for the dorsal. If we tighten it to the uh, lumbar, it tightens this up here. That's increasing the tension of the drop. To activate the directional drop, we're going to hit the foot switch. Oops, sorry, we're going to select pelvic and then we're going to hold that and then we're going to with our foot still depressed leave the up and then taking the foot off the strip it'll just lock into place same to put it in the um i to s direction as well and then back to normal our pelvic tension is here and to move our pelvic section up and down we just undo, undo that and slide it up and down and to slide this the table we undo our claw and we'll slide the table as well as far as servicing, just keep the cushions clean, just with some upholstery cleaner from Repco. Um, cleaning them periodically is what you can do to look after themselves. They are, they have a five year um, parts only warranty, doesn't include any servicing, uh, but it actually, it will include any parts that you need for the first three years and then it's scaled, so it's 75 and then 50% of the value of the parts after that. What else can I tell you? Not much, not much. We don't actually need to tell you much more other than that. The table will only work when it's in the, um, when it's plugged in. And you've got all the way around here, that just plugs in with a kettle cord essentially. All right, bud, good luck, enjoy your table. Any questions, go through the um, Zenith page, but we've got some other videos as well we'll be able to show you.